butthead. It can't be that hard. Just light the stupid thing already. All right, I'm doing the best I can. It's not as easy as it looks, you know. Oh, please. Hey, come on, guys. Let me light them. If your parents knew I was letting you touch matches, they'd probably kill me. Besides, I don't want you to burn the place down. Yeah, Kyle, please let Michael do it. I don't really want to sit out here in the dark all night. Okay, all right. I really don't want to sit here all night and listen to you whine, either. Where's the matches? Where are you? Hey, who needs a lantern? Why don't we just use these guys to see? Aw, oh, Josh, why don't you let those poor things go? No, way. I want to show them to Mom tomorrow. Yeah, they'll look real neat during the day. So I'll wait until tomorrow night. Josh, they'll be dead by tomorrow night. No, they won't. I poke poles in the top. Well, just bring them over here so I can see what I'm doing, all right? Hey, better than a flashlight, huh? Just bring them over here. What's grosser than gross? Oh, no, not your dumb joke. Come on, what's grosser than gross? I don't know. What's grosser than gross? Eating a bowl of rice when one of them gets up and walks away. Oh, no, please stop. I think my sides are going to split. What's grosser than gross? Let there be light. Cool. Finally. <sighs> so we can see. Now what? I brought some video game cartridges. What are we supposed to do with video game cartridges? Play video games. On what? Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. You're so lame. What's grosser than gross? Your face, which I like better when it was dark in here. Now shut up. Eh, eh, wrong. Eating a bowl of cornflakes when your brother walks in and says, Hey, where's my scab collection? Oh, that is disgusting. You know, I think that actually happened to us once at our house. What's grosser than gross? Enough already. Ten dead puppies in a barrel. What's grosser than that? I don't know. What's grosser than ten dead puppies in a barrel? One dead puppy in ten barrels. I think I actually like that one. What's grosser than I'm gross? I'm gonna smack you so hard. Hey, do you guys really want to know what's grosser than gross? What do you mean? I mean, do you want to hear something that's really gross that really happened? Please, anything to keep him from telling more retarded jokes. Is it grosser than needing a scab collection? Yeah, definitely grosser than that. Well, what is it? Well... There was this lady who went into a fast food restaurant to get herself some chicken. Thank you, and come again. Welcome to Tennessee Fricassee Chicken. May I take your order, please? Yeah. I'd like the 15-piece bucket and a large chocolate shake. For here or to go? For here. Can I interest you in our new Cajun Keels today? Um, maybe later. That'll be $8.95. I'll be right back. Thank you, and come again. Thank you. Welcome to Tennessee Fricassee Chicken. May I take your order, please? Yeah, give me the Gettysburg Nuggets. To go. That's disgusting. Hey, did she barf? How's he supposed to know that? I don't know. Wouldn't you barf if you bit into a big hairy rat? I'm gonna go out on a limb here, fellas, and say, uh, yeah, she probably got the urge to regurge. <laughs> oh. Hey, wait, 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 I know one, and this one really happened, too. What, the time when Mom found a Band-Aid in her soup? No, 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 besides, that wasn't a Band-Aid. It's one of those moist towelette thingies. No, 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 this happened in California at Wacky Kingdom. Well, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Well, the first day they opened the haunted estate, there was this old man. Ah! 
Our ghouls are aware of your presence and have decided to meet you personally. I could have gone on It's Such a Wee World or the Enchanting Wiki Hut. But why did I have to go on this stupid ride? The spirits are pleased you have come and wish to further welcome you to their haunting ground. Oh, please! I think I'd like to get out now! Help me! Please, you must help me! He's right behind me! He'll kill me if he finds me! I, I really think I'd like to get off now. Will somebody please stop this ride? I have found you. It's too late! <laughs> Did you say you wanted to meet more of our fiends? Lost. I mean friends. No! No! The family jewelry. Living dead portraits of some of our more famous guests. Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Ship Ahoy! Mr. Mortis, the Undertaker of Corpse. Farmer Hackett, ready to whack it. Beware, they may hitch a ride home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Please watch your step and enjoy the rest of the day. Please watch your step and enjoy the rest of the day. Please watch your step and enjoy the... He died of fright, and that's why it's such a wussy ride now. They had to shut it down and completely redo it. Oh yeah, I, I, I think I remember meeting someone who knew a guy that went on the ride that very same day. You think it's a wussy ride now? I think it's still scary. <laughs> Arrest my case. before we moved out here, back in a school that my dad used to work at. Uncle Henry used to work at a school? Yeah, he's worked at a few of them. Yeah, we knew that. Remember, Josh? Go on. What happened? This happened to a kid named Danny Hollister back in the town of Greeley.
What'd mommy pack us for lunch? Hey, come on, Rudy, that's mine. Give it back. Anyone want a banana? Come on, give it back. What if I don't feel like it? Just leave me alone. Little Danny wants us to leave him alone. Brad, why don't you leave little Danny alone? Sure thing, Rudy. Better pick up your mess, Hollister. You don't want to get into trouble. <sighs> Hey guys, look, Danny's drawing won first place in the art festival. Isn't that nice? Yeah, he's a real artist. You know, I think I'd like to have it. No, Rudy, don't. Please, don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt it. I'll just put it somewhere real special. <gasps> Oops. Now it's first place trash. You guys are gonna get in trouble. No, we're not, because if you tell anyone, you know it'll happen. Hold on a minute, guys. <laughs> I got an idea. What are you doing? Making sure little daddy doesn't go crying to the principal. Oh, you press the third valve down, and the music goes down and around. Below, 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 tee dee wo ho ho. Listen to the jazz come out. Oh, the music goes down and around. Below, below, below. Oh, you press the middle valve down. My goodness. What the dickens are you doing hanging up there? Danny? Danny Hollister, is that you? Say, you know, this ain't a public hanging. You kids ought to be back in your classes. See what I said? I said, skedaddle! Skedaddle! Dunk my bread in the gravy. How'd you manage to get yourself in a mess like that? Don't worry, son. I'll get you right on down. Oh. So that's what happened to my plumber's helper, huh? Hang on, son. There we are. Here, let me help you. Are you all right? Huh? Yeah. Who hung you up there, Danny? I can't tell. Why can't you tell me? But if I tell, they'll beat me up. Oh, no siree, Bob. Nobody's going to beat you up as long as I'm custodian of Greeley Elementary School. Now, you tell me who did it. Uh-huh. Was it Rudy Kobelnicki and his two sidekicks, Frick and Frack? Uh-huh. I thought as much. I didn't tell you. Oh, no, of course you didn't. And if anybody asks me, I'll say, absolutely not. He's zipper-lipped. I'll say, I tore out your fingernails. And still, you wouldn't squeal. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, we better get this cleaned up. Okay. Before somebody else trips over it. Okay. And listen, don't look so worried. I mean, those kids are just show-offs. They're all bark, no bite. And I'll tell you something else. I have a feeling they're going to get what's coming to them sooner or later. Their type usually does, you know what I mean? I know. Well, guess you better get to class. You don't want to be late. If you're late, you'll think that Rudy and his pals are a couple of cream pups compared to Miss Titmarsh when she gets sore. <laughs> I don't like her very much. She's mean. Well, just between you and me, Danny. She is a bit of a sour puss. <laughs> well, guess you better get to class. I've got to clean up the boys' room. As a matter of fact, uh, this whole place is a shambles. Remember what I told you. Anybody bothers you, you come to me, okay? Okay. Thanks, Mr. Jenkins. See you later. Bye. See you later, alligator.
All right, people. The bell has long since rung. It's time for you to give me your undivided attention. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Tidmarsh. Very good. Danny, you are late. And since you are the last one in class, you may hang up your coat and come up here and pass out these papers. Now, today, I have a little surprise. Uh, since so many of us don't seem to think that it's necessary to turn in our math homework on time, it's obvious to me that we all know everything there is to know about math. Sorry, could you get that for me? So, none of you will mind starting out this morning with a little test on our favorite subject, fractions. Now, I don't want to hear any talking. You will have exactly 50 minutes to complete this test. You may begin. Miss Titmarsh? <clears throat> Miss Titmarsh? What is it? Can I go to the bathroom? You should have gone before class. But I didn't have to go then. Have you finished your test? Well, no, not yet. Class, should we let Mr. Hollister go to the little boy's room before finishing his test? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Don't run.
the bathroom. Monsters in the bathroom. Quiet down. This class is trying to concentrate. What on earth are you talking about? There's a monster in the bathroom. I saw it. Young man, you will stop this foolishness. Now sit down and finish your examination. But I don't want to hear another word. But you would fly to the moon and back if you thought you could get out of taking an exam. Hey, Danny, everything come out okay? <laughs> Mr. Hollister, you are disgraceful. I have never met such a big baby. You will go back to the bathroom immediately and clean yourself up. But there's a monster in the bathroom. It'll get me. I have had just about enough of this. Now you go back to the bathroom and clean yourself up before I call your mother and tell her that you ought to be wearing diapers to school. Now go on. Now. That is enough. I have had it up to here with you. You have tried my patience for the last time. Class, you will continue with your test while I escort Mr. Hollister to the lavatory. But Miss Tidmore, quiet. Come with me. Monsters and heads. If you ever create a disturbance like that in my classroom again, I'm going to see to it that you are severely punished. Now we are going to go into the boys' room, and then we are going to visit the principal. But Miss Tidmarsh, there's a monster in there. I swear, I got Mr. Jenkins. All right, show me. Now, where is this monster of yours? Where is Mr. Jenkins? In the sink, in the supply closet. Mm-hmm. We'll see. This door is locked. But there were keys in it, and I opened it and found Mr. Jenkins in the sink. Now, I don't know what pleasure you get out of this, but believe me, it is going to stop right now. But he was in there. You, Mr. Hollister, are going with me to the principal's office, and if I have anything to say about it, you are going to be suspended indefinitely. But he was in there, really, and there was a monster in there. Come here. Come here. Is that your monster? That is just a bunch of protecto sheets. There is no monster in here. 
Just vandalism. You young people today, you have no sense of responsibility. You just think because this is not your bathroom, you can just come in and throw things right and left, and somebody will come and clean up after you. Where is Mr. Jenkins? He should be cleaning up this mess, not me. Dora Titmarsh did not get a degree in education to be cleaning up toilets. Monster indeed. You probably made this mess yourself. Young man, when I am speaking to you, I want you to look at me. What are you staring at? trying to get attention. I say he's nuts. So what is it, Hollister? Why are you making up such a stupid story? You don't believe me? Why don't you just go find out for yourself? Okay, we will. Come on, guys. So what's this monster look like, Danny? The werewolf or Frankenstein? Or is it more like a Martian? Yeah, do you have antennas? Maybe Danny just took a crap and thought it was a monster. Okay, guys, let's go get the mean and nasty monster and little Danny piss his pants.
<laughs> After a few months, he moved to another town and got a job at a different school. Where do you work, a John? On the Delaware Lackawanna. And what do you do, a John? I push the push the push. Principal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I know you've only worked here a week, and you're not really familiar yet with all the kids, but we seem to have uh, uh, misplaced one of our students. Oh. This is Mrs. Waters. She's the president of our PTA. Very happy to make your acquaintance, Mrs. Walters. She was here to pick up her son, Jordan, in the back parking lot. When she got there, he wasn't around, and uh, we've been looking all over for him with no luck. I thought perhaps you'd seen him. I see lots of kids. Jordy is about 4'11". He weighs 85 pounds. Oh, let's see, he has dark hair. It's in a crew cut. He's usually so reliable. I can't think what could have happened to him. <sighs> oh, let's see. He was wearing jeans and a, um, a bright red, white, and blue plaid flannel shirt. Wait a minute. I seen that kid this morning. That kid's a bad apple, you know that? Excuse me? He was pushing around all the young kids. He was trying to take away their lunch money, making a nuisance out of himself. Mr. Jenkins, I don't think this is quite the time to get into this. I think that kid of yours ought to be taught a lesson, Mrs. Walters. You must be mistaken. My Geordie is a good boy. I calls him as I sees him. Well, have you seen Jordan recently? Not since this morning, sir. Well, if you do, you'll let me know immediately. All right, will do. Come on, let's uh, let's go to my office. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about.
and they never, ever caught him. He just keeps moving to different towns, sometimes changing his identity. And who knows? He could even be working in one of your schools right now. Wow. I wonder. You know, Mr. Marston in art class always seemed a little weird to me. That's because he slipped in the shower and bonked his head on the faucet over 20 years ago. Oh. Besides, Michael just made all of that up. I wish I did. My dad told me that story and it happened. I swear to God. How does Uncle Henry know all about this? I told you, he worked at the school where it happened. And he knew this guy? They're very close. I think some of my fireflies are sick. Told you you shouldn't have stuck them in that jar. There's nothing wrong with them being in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it's just their batteries are running low. They'll be fine. Some of them are just sleeping. Well, be careful with those things, or you'll end up like Gordy Belcher. <laughs> no thanks. Who's Gordy Belcher? Whoa. You thought your story was strange? Well, this one is even stranger. What is it? Well, Gordy Belcher was this kid that we used to go to school with. He had a rather odd hobby. He also should have never gone near Old Farmer Spivey's place. You lard ass. What same hill you think you're doing on my property? None of your damn business, you old fart. I've warned you before about what I do to little pests that invade my garden. I don't take kindly to rodents like you stealing my fertilizer and messing up my fence. Well, yeah, I'm not the idiot who just blew a hole in it. Next time I catch in here, I might just blow a hole in you. Make you remember that there Vietnamese boys choir. Use a gun and go to jail. Why don't you mind your own business and go back to your crappy job? You just get out of here right now. Before me and old Bessie here decide to perform a little primitive weight reduction. I said get! Shit.
There you go. All right. Thank you. Can I help you, Gordy? Um, sure. Take one of these. Is that all you need? Yeah. That'll be 10 cents. How about some asthma medicine today? No thanks. Bye. Kitty, 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 kitty. How you doing, kitty? Nice kitty, kitty. Woo! Woo! <laughs>
Gordy, don't spend too much time down there. Dinner's going to be ready very soon. It's your favorite. Fried chicken. Whatever.
I'll be up in a little while. Get up here now, Gordy. You heard your mother. You can finish whatever weird thing you're doing down there later. Did you hear me? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. I'm coming. are skeptical, but have decided to take a wait-and-see attitude for the time being. Well, now we're reading at the table, please. Wash your hands, please. Gordy, how was school today? Yeah, okay. Mrs. Timmerman told me there's a school dance next week. Are you gonna go? Margaret, who the hell's gonna want to dance with him? Now, Ray, stop it. I'm sure there are plenty of nice girls who would love to dance with Gordy. Oh, yeah. And they're gonna crown him king of the ball. Don't be mean. Look, I'm not going to any stupid dance with any stupid girls at some lame old school thing, okay? Oh, no. I just want to spend the evening locked up in a dark basement playing with those stupid bugs. It's a sick kid you raised, Margaret. Oh, so now it's all my fault. Well, maybe if you'd spend some time with him every once in a while, he wouldn't be so shy now. Shy? Is this what you call shy? I call it pretty damn messed up in the head. Shh, look, that old fart Spivey's on television. What's old man Spivey doing on TV? Probably found a couple dead kids under his floorboards. Ugh, Ray. Shh. Now, people have been asking me what, uh, what that special uh, secret ingredient is, but I'm not telling nobody. Many people dream of inventing something to make them rich. One local man has come up with a revolutionary way to farm, but he's not interested in selling. Our KORN reporter, Brock Richards, went to find out why. You say tomato, he says... Tomato! This is Brock Richards. We're at the home of local farmer Horace Spivey to talk to him about a special fertilizer he's invented. A fertilizer that's the envy of all the county. Farmer Spivey, tell us a little bit about your miracle manure. Well, I, uh... I've been uh, working on it, I'd say, oh, about 16 years. And uh, it came really into fruition about the last five or so. And just to give an example of what I'm talking about, that there's a carrot. <laughs> you ever see a carrot like that before? I can't say I have. <laughs> no, sirree. That's a big carrot, and that's grown with Spivey's own miracle manure. Yes, sir. You know, Mr. Spivey, there's a lot of local farmers in this county who would, well, give their left arm to get a hold of a bag of your miracle manure. I wonder, why is it you're not interested in selling your fertilizer? You could turn quite a tidy profit, I'm sure. Well, yeah, but you see, money is in everything, and uh, I decided that once I discovered this, I'd better keep it to myself. Because you don't know out there what they might put it to. There's all kinds of applications that it may have that we don't even know about. And it could turn ugly. So you see, I'd rather keep it to myself and keep developing it. You see, I'd like to get a carrot as big as a man. Now, can you imagine how many people that would feed, huh? Well, I can imagine how many rabbits it would feed. <laughs> Well, all right. Well, Mr. Spivey, we wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, this is quite a miracle manure, as he calls it, a fertilizer the likes of which this reporter has never seen before, and that's no bull. For KORN News, I'm Brock Richards. Are we still rolling? Thanks, Brock. And be sure to check the bottom of your shoes before you come back into the studio. Well, that's it for the evening report. Be sure to join us at 11 for Action News Nightside. Until then, I'm Kelly Appleton for KORN Action News. Have a good evening.
The old geezer is nuts. He's nuts for not selling that manure. Has he laugh all the way to the bank? I didn't know a man Spivey was up to anything other than chasing people away from his property. Well, you pass by his place on the way home from school, don't you, Gordy? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, did you know he was into all this? How the heck would I know? I'm just asking. Sorry. Yeah, how would Gordy know? If it didn't have wings on it, he didn't care about it. Gordon Belcher, what in the hell are you doing? What do you mean? Gordy, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I mean, we have been very patient with you and your... your... hobby. I mean, we keep thinking you're gonna grow out of all this, but I don't see any signs of you changing. Other kids play baseball and go to school dances. Other boys are interested in girls. Hell, other kids even have some friends. All you do is sit downstairs in the dark and play with those filthy damn flies. Well, I didn't raise my son to be some kind of fruitcake. From now on, this obsession of yours is going to stop. And that's it. End of the argument. What about this, Gordy? Did you think this was funny? Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice these weren't raisins? Well? Gordon, your mother's talking to you. I expect you to answer her. What was that? I don't know, okay? I don't know. Are you just through yet? Sit down. Aw, oh, Dad! Now, I will tell you when to leave and when you are excused. Until then, you sit here and eat your dinner. I just don't know what we're going to do with you, Gordy. I just don't know. Fly north, fly south. But when you have to fly, fly with us. Mike, you disgust me. Sometimes I'm surprised we're related. Well, Carol, I think you're old enough to know. We're not. You're adopted. Either way, you're still a pig. Carol, relax. These flies aren't for me. They're for Gordy Belcher. It's a miracle. An agricultural breakthrough. It'll put an end to world hunger and revolutionize the way we farm. 
Vegetables are only the beginning. There's no end to what you'll be able to do with Spivey's own miracle manure. And as for you, Gordy Belcher, stay off my land. That's what happens to things that go bad. Things <laughs> that go bad. Bad. Any of you guys want a cookie? Uh, no thanks. They're homemade? Uh, we gotta go, Jenny. See you in civics. But lunch isn't over for another 20 minutes. Uh, we told Miss Dolan we would help her, uh, uh, clean the blackboards. Right, clean the blackboards. See ya. Maybe we can find a place on the grass to eat. Yeah, okay. Look, I know you guys don't like me. Big surprise. Nobody likes me. I mean, ever since elementary school, everybody said I was either too fat or too weird or too mean. The only reason why I'm ever mean is because nobody ever gives me the chance to be anything else. So if you don't want to sit with me, that's fine. You don't have to leave. I'll go over and sit in the grass if I can find a place big enough. Gordy, sit down. You don't have to leave. You mean it? Yeah, we mean it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Are you sure you don't want a cookie? I made them myself. Okay, I'll have one. Aren't you gonna taste it? Okay, I'll taste it. You are sick. <laughs> Go home, Gordy Belcher. You've done enough damage for one day.
Gordy Belcher, hold it right there. Why? Is it too hard for you to shoot a moving target? I'm not gonna shoot anybody. I don't even have my gun with me. I suppose you're gonna want to invite me in for tea? <laughs> no. No, I just want to uh, take a look, see at your hand there. Looks to me that it uh, could be cut pretty bad. No, thanks. I wouldn't want to get it infected. Gordy, what do you say we call a truce, huh? I'm too old to be getting worked up over you all the time. My doctor says it's, it's not good for the old ticker. So why don't you come on in here and, and let me clean up your hand? I'll pass. Your pass out is what you'll do from loss of blood by the time you get home. Come on, it'll only take a minute. Besides, I got something for you in the woodshed here. Okay. But if I'm not home soon, my parents are calling the police. If you're not home soon, your parents will have a party. This is where I mix all my fertilizer. Right here is where I first discovered my secret ingredient. It's very impressive. Yeah. Come on over here now. Let me see that hand. Oh, that's not so bad. No, I don't think we're going to have to amputate. <laughs> that hurts, damn it. Oh, don't be such a baby. Here. Put the bandage on it, and then I'll be all done. Just hurry up. Here we go. There. There, all done. Can I go now? Yep, you're free to go. Oh, wait a minute. Don't forget this. What's that? This is a jar of Spidey's own miracle manure. Only this batch is real different. See, I mixed this up special just for you. Yeah, I put in a few extra heapings of my uh, secret ingredient. So whatever you're using it for, it'll work extra good now. Why are you doing all this? Well, let's just say, I hope that this token will solve our differences once and for all. And if I ever need to come back for more? Oh, I don't think you'll be needing any more. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. I gotta go. Take care of that hand now. You never know what might happen. Yeah, yeah. school awfully early, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, why is that? Um, it was some sort of teacher's conference day or something. It was a half day. Funny. I didn't know about that. Usually I know when there's a teacher's conference day. I thought I told you, but I guess I didn't. Can I go upstairs now? Yes, you may. Oh, and by the way, you can just stay up there, too, without supper. 
Your principal called me this afternoon, and I know all about what you did to that poor little girl. Well, this is it. From now on, things are going to be a lot different around here. It was just a joke. I mean, why is everybody getting so upset? Upset? Gordy, for God's sake, you made a girl eat dead flies. You got suspended from school. This weird obsession of yours has warped you. You don't even know what's right or wrong anymore. Well, it's over now. What's in the trash bag? Nothing that concerns you anymore. What's in the trash bag? Or do you go to your room right now? Get up here right now. There's nothing down there anymore to concern yourself with. Gordy, do you hear me? You get up here and go to your room. Your father is going to want to have a word with you when he gets home. you She didn't know about you now, did she? Don't worry, I'll get my stuff back, and then me and you guys are going to have some fun.
Honey. Honey. What? 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 I, I heard something in Gordy's room. Uh, she's probably just going to stuff his fat face again. No. No, no, it wasn't like uh, that. I heard things falling. Come uh, on. Come on. Get up. Oh. Come on. All right. God. Gordy, you in there? Everything okay, sweetheart? Gordy, what's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? What in the hell's going on in here? Oh my God. was a special batch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I admit, that was a pretty good story, but come on, guy. Giant flies? Hey, it's true. Don't believe it if you don't want to. But I knew Gordy Belcher, and I believe the stories. Me too. Besides, we're supposed to believe there was a janitor who pulled off his face and ate bratty kids? Well, that's true. You can ask my dad. Yeah, right. Hey, you little pipsqueak, you want to bet? No, I don't want to bet. Even if we did, how are you going to prove it? <laughs> Shh, guys, quiet. Did you hear something? No, not me. I think I heard something. It was probably just your stomach. What do we have left to eat anyway? Yeah, I'm kind of hungry myself. There! Did you hear that? What? Are you just trying to scare us? No, no, I heard it that time too, Kyle. Shh. Ah! Oh, great. Just what we need. Guys, look for the matches. I'll try and light it again. How are we supposed to look for the matches? Well, feel around for them. You know what I mean. Hey, I'm scared. Don't be such a baby. Beware of giant flies. And janitors that eat children. Blah. Hey, Josh, pass your jar of fireflies over here so I can see what I'm doing. I don't see them. Well, aren't they in your bag? Mm, no, I left them out. Mm, I think maybe they're dead. I told you they wouldn't make it. Never mind, I found the matches. I'm going to stick you in a jar and see how you like it. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, great. I'm really scared, you guys. Shut up. What's that? Probably just my dad coming to check up on us. Maybe he can help us get the lantern working. Quick, pretend like we're asleep. You fellas all right out here? Oh, I'm good, Henry. Great, just great. Hey, we're just going to sleep. You boys aren't out here giving each other the willies, are you? <laughs> I just told them what happened back at Greeley. They didn't believe me. Oh, they didn't, did they? Yeah, we don't believe him. Yeah, that really didn't happen, did it, Uncle Henry? It really happened all right. Every word of it. Prove it, Dad. Yeah, prove it to us, Uncle Henry. You really think I should? Go for it. All right. 